Hey y'all, this is Jeremiah, pastor at Centennial ARP. Thanks for tuning in for today's video devotional, Proverbs chapter 18. We'll do one verse today, verse 13. If one gives an answer before he hears, it is his folly and shame. Uh, some years ago, uh, when I was in seminary, uh, my seminary professor, one that I respect very greatly, uh, he and I were driving to Augusta, Georgia from Columbia, South Carolina. Uh, for those of you who know, that's just kind of a straight shot down the interstate. Uh, we had a class there. He was teaching it. I was taking it. And there were some other classmates that were following and things like that. And uh, I was getting close to graduation. And I asked this professor, what, what advice practically, you know, did I need as I was going to be making this transition from student to teacher, as it were, uh, to pastor, to preacher. And uh, this professor had some timely words for me. He said, Jeremiah, just shut up. And <laughs> of course, you know, I was a little taken aback and he said, you heard me right. Just shut up. And that stuck with me because it's kind of funny, first of all, especially if you know me, uh, I talk a little bit, but uh, also the concept of quietness and, and what it means for ministry uh, and what it means for your life. If you were to go through the day and, dare I say it, just shut up, would those around you be better off or worse off? And I think that that's a hard question for us to really answer because we definitely want to think that everyone would be better off if we kept talking. But oftentimes our words get ahead of our hearts because our hearts are in the right place, but our words are not as easily in the right place. I'm trying to pick and choose my own words correctly, right? Uh, but but this proverb is so powerful. If one gives an answer before he hears, it is his folly and shame. Do you have folly and shame following you around, or do you have grace and mercy following you around because you are one who is quick to hear? And, and as you hear, and as you listen, and as you learn, as you begin to see how the Lord is operating in any given moment, then you can be there with a tactical word, a purposeful word, in season, seeking to be a blessing rather than a curse. Uh, this is a harder proverb than some think, and, and it goes directly to the Lord Jesus and, and how he came uh, not, not to be served, but to serve, uh, not to be one who, um, not to be one who seized all the power, but who opened his hands and, and gave all the power up that, that he might live a life of righteousness for you and for me, that he might die that death, by the way, quietly walking to the cross, not making a sound like a sheep being led to slaughter. The Lord Jesus had a work and he was not quick to speak. He was quick to hear and, and then to proclaim the good news, the message of salvation. But are we ones who look like Jesus? Or are we ones that look like fools? It's a hard proverb. Consider it. Be convicted, but remember, don't stop there. Be comforted by the good news of Jesus and be blessed today.